In the first video, you received an email from a consultant at OnPoint where you were invited to share in one of our Smartsheet project management schedules. You clicked on the hyperlink, provided a password that you made up at that time, and you were logged into Smartsheet. The next time you'll go to Smartsheet, simply go to any browser and type in smartsheet.com. Then click the Login button, provide your user ID, and your password. Let's get ourselves acquainted with the Smartsheet uh, UI. On the upper left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a tab called Home, and next to that, a tab called My Projects at OnPoint. You'll see a tab for any project where you've been invited to share. Now below Home, you'll see icons that are pretty familiar to both, to all of us rather. Editing, printing, emailing, so on and so on. Note that you can also export your project to Microsoft uh, Excel. Now let's go to My Projects at OnPoint, and let's think in terms of columns, and rows. The rows of information are going to be your project or your deliverable. Uh, think about it in terms of an effort. The efforts we've got here are report one, report two, a process improvement effort, and a data migration effort. Now look below report two. You notice we've got the minus sign there, uh, meaning that it's been expanded. Below that we've got scope, design, testing changes, and final uh, test and acceptance. As with any expand collapse capability in any other software, I can roll that up and get a nice 30,000 foot view of my, of my uh, projects. Let's look over here at the health. What I like about Smartsheet is if I'm an exec or if I'm an owner and OnPoint is doing upstream reporting to me, I can quickly look at my projects and I can see the general condition or the general health. Report one is green, it's good. Report two is red, there's something going on there. Process improvement, data migration have not been started. On this progress column, you can see that report one is fully uh, fully completed. Report two, while it's red, has got zero progress. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and change that, and uh, because the scope has been partially completed, I want that to be visible from the, what I'm calling the 30,000 foot view, so I'm gonna change that. So now if I'm an owner or an exec and I'm looking at the progress, I can see what's going on there. It has been started. Now maybe I'm, I'm a boots on the ground consultant, or I'm one of the staff or folks at the, uh, at the client site using Smartsheet to collaborate on these projects. And maybe on report two, for instance, uh, I'm ready to provide more information on the scope. So maybe I've got an attachment, uh, something I want to uh, attach to this and make on point aware I've got more information. To do that, I can simply go to this attach icon, click on attach, upload something from my computer, and I'm just gonna send an attach uh, something called a paylist. You'll notice now I've got the uh, paper clip there indicating that I've got an attachment. From there, I might go into a discussion and I might say scope provided and I'll say hey Mike I've attached the scope you requested and I'll click save. So you might want to send me a message asking me what is going on with the scope in report 2. To do that from your smart sheet you'll drag your mouse over to the left until it becomes four arrows. You'll right click on that line and simply say send update request. Now in this case I'm not in that list and so I'll add myself and then I'll highlight my recipient which is me. Update request scope. Please update the following rows in my online sheet. From there I click send and I get that message update request sent. Now, me as the recipient, I received this request, so I'll double click that in my email, and it simply says, please update the following rows in my online sheet. And I can have a hyperlink here to update those rows. Now check this out. I click that little guy, it takes me right to that row. And then I can tell you, we are not able to reach Joe. Can you help? If it's a little too personal for a smart sheet, can... Tim help and I click on send changes. Now remember that was me the recipient of that uh, update request. So now I'm back to uh, the originator of that smart sheet and when I refresh I, I, I would have gotten a message if I would have been watching I would have gotten a message saying the sheet has been updated and from there you simply refresh your sheet and voila we are not able to reach Joe can Tim help. So online collaboration uh, me as info at onpoint-software sent a, a request for update to Mike P at onpoint-software. Mike P replied. 
not me as info. I'm, I'm in here and uh, I see the response. Pretty cool, huh? To get additional information, don't hesitate to look at our other videos on onpoint-software.com. Additionally, smartsheet.com has tons of informational videos and training uh, uh, resources. Things you might want to think about are creating new sheets, uh, creating new sheets from templates. You can copy sheets, and you can also upload from Excel. We've only touched on the feature set of smartsheet.com. Don't hesitate to reach out for additional information and call us anytime. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.